Right then, another one. Um, <laughs> carrying on the train thing, but different, okay? Um, please don't think I've become a train nut because I haven't. <laughs> but we've got a Disney set, which is really, really cool. I like it. And this will play a major part in my little, well, not a major part, a minor part in my little um, idea that I've got going. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so here we go. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six minifigs. One, two, three, four, five builds. Um, it's four plus, so I should be okay. <laughs> uh, we've got minifigs. We've got Mona, Woody, Peter Pan, Tinkerbell, Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. So that's rather cool. Um, all on a little train. So yeah, I like it. Um, it was on offer um, at uh, my local store. So I thought, why not? It was, uh, I don't know, 999 lira. So it was down by about, I think 20%. So that's cool. Um, <clears throat> yeah, quick, easy build, hopefully. <laughs> Uh, four plus can do it. I'm sure I can do it. So uh, let's get it done and open up the box. See what we have inside. Don't, don't. I do like the box design. Um, can I? Probably not. Jeez. Let's see if we can force it. There we go. Nice. Okay. Yeah, box design is really nice. I like the colour scheme. It's like a hundred hundredth um, anniversary set, so uh, a little bit special for Disney. Um, and it has let's rip that off. Um, yeah, it has like the Disney 100 on the box, so hundredth anniversary. I like it. Um, really cute little box. Okay. Um, now I said that I would do some different builds and I'm doing different builds. So we got four train bases there, plus a bag of other bits. Let's have a look and see what we got. Oopa. Okay, there's the four train pieces. What have we got here? Let's have a look. Exciting stuff. Ooh, we've got the pirate flag. That's cool. <laughs> Me likey. Um, I don't know if there'll be stickers, normally there isn't um, for this, but whatever. Let's put those over there. That's the four train bases. We've got a total of five bags, very small bags. Uh, three, four, five, yeah, there we go. So that's nice, simps. And look at that, we've even got a little manual in its own pouch. Cool. Let's have a look and see if there's any dreaded stickers. No, we have got, ah, oh, okay. There is a book per bag. So bag one, two, three, and four, and five. So that's cool for kids. That'd be awesome, you know? Um, <clears throat> if you wanted to do it with some friends at a party or something, you could. Um, let's see if there's any info about the 100th anniversary. Probably not. No. Okay. So, let's put those back in there. We have the app up and running on the other screen. Um, let's read you. Let's read. 200 pieces. It was brought out in 2023. Um, Disney Celebration Train. Set number 43212. Um, we got all sorts of stuff in here though. It's kind of cool. We've even got like balloons and guitar and all sorts. So that's nice. Um, anyway, description. All aboard the parade train. Join beloved Disney and Pixar characters for a 100th anniversary celebration. Hop on board the engine with Mickey Mouse. Then visit Mona on her island float with its hidden cave. Mm, okay. Swinging onto Peter Pan's pirate ship float to see Tinkerbell. Visit Woody's roundup float with its revolving stage. When you get to the station, you can party with Minnie Mouse. Okay, I'm going to party with Minnie Mouse then. All right, so let's open up bag one. And... Uh, can I just do it on the desk? 
I think I will actually, because it's not big. Um, let's do that. All right, so put these bags down here and I will start the, the speed build right now. See you in a minute. Okay, finished. Um, I don't know why, but I had issues with the boat. I put it one um, one tile too far back, actually. So it was a bit of a pain. But anyway, that was the only thing. Um, of course, I sh and, and so it should be <laughs> for age four plus. But whatever. Um, now, first of all, let's uh, have a look at each one. Um, the Mickey Mouse train, very, very cool. Two uh, printed tiles both sides. Let's just unhook him. Oh, that's probably wrecked everybody else. Yes, it does fit on normal train set. Now, train track, but there is a problem. I'll go into that in a minute. Let's move that to there. Okay, so here he is, Mickey Mouse. Uh, he's got like a um, a trainee kind of outfit on. He's got a waistcoat with a pocket watch. Um, and the train looks really cool. It's got his uh, the Mickey Mouse ears on the front. You can see that. Um, holding a balloon for the celebration. Very, very cool. Um, let's get him there. Okay, so that's his train. Then we have Peter Pan. Um, this is a really cool pirate ship. Um, we've got a lantern on the front, um, and we've got Tinkerbell here, <laughs> ready to cause mischief, of course, as she always does. Um, and Peter Pan himself. Uh, we've got a little anchor on the ship, uh, which is very, very cool. Let's move these out of the way. Okay, stand up. Mickey, my oh boy, all right, don't stand up then. Right, so yeah, we have an anchor on the ship. We have a, a lantern that goes on the front of the ship so they can see where they're going. Uh, I love the sail. Um, we need to turn her around a little bit. There we go, maybe a bit more. Mm -hmm. So there's the sail, the skull and crossbones, which is very cool. Um, can't believe I enjoyed building this so much as I did. Uh, <laughs> it brings me back to my childhood. Um, so, I mean, not much else to see on it, obviously, um, but the minifigs are great. Um, Peter Pan smiling away, Tinkerbell, um, she's smiling, but I don't trust her, <laughs> holding a balloon. 
um, little flag at the top here, which is very good. Okay, so that's that one. Let's stick that in there and put Mickey in there. And I will get into telling you what I've discovered with the train tracks. Okay, so that's that one. Then we've got Woody, of course. Now, Woody the Sheriff. <laughs> got his guitar. He's on a little spinny table, but if he's carrying his guitar, the guitar stops it from sp spinning all the way around. Uh, shame that it wasn't like a little gear underneath to spin him around as he's going around, but um, I don't think this was intended to be put on a train set, but it can be. Anyway, um, so yeah, it's like a little rock formation. He's got a barrel there. Inside the barrel, there are some uh, sheriff stars. There we go. Sheriff star. Z yes. Little sheriff stars. Why, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why there's sheriff stars in there. I put that flower on there just because, why not? Uh, cactus plant and the big, big sheriff sign, which is really cool. Um, so that's him. I'm gonna stick him over here. Uh, okay. And then we've got, what's her name? I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even think I've watched this. Mona. Um, I think she's from the, like, yeah, it's like a Hawaiian family living by the sea. Um, or if I remember rightly, I wasn't all that impressed with the film, to be honest. Um, okay, so she's got a little crab, sand crab here in the front. A waterfall effect here, which is, I thought was quite cool. Good idea. Um, and inside there is obviously the crab. Then you've got this rock formation behind her. Let's take her off there for a minute. Um, rock formation, some flowers. I have got some more flowers actually. Uh, look at this. This is all the spare parts from the sets I've built so far. <laughs> so I'm going to put a little pink flower. There we go. On there. Because why not? There we go. They could have added that, but they didn't. Um, so there's my bag of spares. All right, so we got like a little uh, plants, two plants. Now got some flowers. Only one extra I put on there. Um, and then around the back, we've got a secret. We have a little secret in there. We take that out and then open this up. Inside we have some green jewels, emeralds maybe, who knows. Um, so a little bit of gold, uh, buried treasure there. So that can go back on there. Cool. And then we can put her on there again. Okay, so that's that. And that goes on there. You can put these in any order you like. This is just the order of the build and the box. Um, and then we've got uh, Minnie Mouse's, um, but it says cave, but um, she's selling a big cake. She's got a cake and a, um, a what do you call it there? Um, <laughs> I can't remember what they call them now because I don't like them. Um, cake, small cake. Um, she's got her balloon, she's got a skirt on, um, printed on the front, head, she's got her bow on her head, which is quite cool. Um, little flag here at the top. Um, I mean, it's supposed to be, a, I'm sure it said a cave, but it's a bit strange if it's a cave, or whatever. Um, and you've got the little mouse ears on the top here. So a bit of grass, that's quite nice. So you're basically you're supposed to be traveling on the train to get to her, is what I suspect. Now, onto the train. Now, yes, they fit on tracks, okay? But, no, they don't go around corners. I don't think it would stay. I think it would, if it was on a tr train being pulled or something, I think it would come off. Um, you could put the normal train wheels on. I will test it later um, and let you guys know. Um, but if I put that on there, let's see what happens. Um, okay. I mean, it, it, it might be okay. <laughs> it might be. I don't know. Let's have a, a look quickly. Put these together. Together, put that like that and then put that on there and see what happens um, okay so you're on a straight 
it will it will go around i think it'll be a bit unstable but let's see with the others let's put those on as well see these wheels have got grooves rather than the open side that they have on the train sets um, but i wonder if you could put a normal wheel on there so let's have a look yeah see it's already these are already coming off there you go so it won't work um, you'd need the proper wheels the proper train wheels um, i will try it later sorry about that but i just wanted to test that just to show you in case you were inquisitive um, but i think it might work if you can put the normal train wheels on these so you'd have to buy some train wheels so why don't they didn't actually do that i don't know but um we'll whatever um set's great kids will love it um playability is good so you don't need a train track you can just like whoosh it around <laughs> it's cool it's no problem <laughs> um so yeah you can do whatever you want with it really um i will put it in my project that i'm doing hopefully i'll get it to go around it around the track um, by getting some wheels we'll see it would be interesting if it would work okay there we go so at least it can stay on like a straight piece and then have many at the end <laughs> that's kind of the most i could probably do with it right now um, but i have got some train sets so i will look at the wheels and see what happens if they work then I will order one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen wheels and see if they'll clip on. Okay. GG's. Nice set. Smash the like button, subscribe, do what you can, comment. Um, great for kids. Uh, great for me, I'm a big kid. Um, this will be a nice little display piece when I've done my project, which I've ordered tables for. Um, <laughs> And I've shifted around my whole lounge to see if the tables will fit. A little bit uh, cramped, but I've got enough space in there. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. I've ordered the tables. So let's see what happens. I might have to sell the tables later. But I've bought the big IKEA. Um, two, what are they? 200? Yeah, 200 long, 200 centimeters long um, by 60 wide. So I've got two of them so they're going to be uh 120 deep and 200 long so which is bigger than my uh, dining room table which will give me more space and they're going to go behind my settees <laughs> it's taking over the lounge it's moving from this room uh, i've got loads of boxes still in the bedroom uh, and now it's going to take over the lounge and i don't care because it's just me so no one to complain at me <laughs> right, anyway Thanks for watching. See you soon. Next build coming up soon.